How's it going, everyone? Welcome to some more Mass Effect 3. Now, today, I am wanting to play this game a lot today. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to be playing a lot today, hopefully. I haven't had a lot of time recently, which sucks, because I really like to play a lot and then edit it. <laughs> so, hopefully, that this is how this is going to go. So, let's jump into it. Remember if I need now to arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Jacob? Oh yeah, I forgot. In addition to your medical discharge, the government wants to give you a medal. The intel you provided when that shuttle finally found you, you saved a lot of lives. And I killed those farmers. They were indoctrinated. You had to defend yourself. And as for Hillary, oh, you idiot. When I took a shower and left my gun in the bedroom, I killed them. Nayira. Hey, At least she can blame the Reapers. But I'm just... Me. The color on my eyes. Did they turn back after? Could I get that gun now? I'll see what I can do. Mm -hmm. Jacob. Oh, there you are. What are you doing? Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. Exactly. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. <laughs> it was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. Aww. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking <laughs> forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. <laughs> you got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. <laughs> oh, really? really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None take. Good. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. I don't blame you. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. <laughs> I love Hackett. <laughs> I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. Mm -hmm. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Goodbye. Oh, sorry. Random lady. Okay, lady, you need to move now. Okay, sorry. She's in the way. <laughs> Anyone else in here? Do I need to give anything to maybe um forces continue their assault on Asari space, claiming the Nimbus cluster and talk to you. Any available amino dexter blood donors, please report to Jeffy. Reaper forces have claimed the Argus Rogue cluster. No okay. status recognized. Let's go to the embassies. Double check the embassies. See how everything's going there. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Sure, there's nothing here that I have to give. Refugee camps in the Citadel are straining existing resources, and the council reports that food shortages may happen in the near future. Look, I filled out all the forms you requested and jumped through every hoop. Okay, I don't have anything 
I'm a specter. See if there's anything over here. Hey, a sorry Huntress weapon permit. Huntress a Ani Tijoni is a patient at Huerta Memorial Hospital. She is currently on stress leave due to a mission on the human colony of Tip Tree, where she was forced to kill a human civilian to prevent both of them from being discovered by Reaper forces. Tijoni has repeatedly requested a permit to carry weapons on the Citadel. The request has been denied because Tijoni's paranoia and possibility of self-inflicted harm. Spectre Authority can override these security measures and grant Tijoni the right to a firearm. Ooh. I'm gonna come back to that one. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Um, wait a second. Excuse me. Hello, Shepard. Hi. Bye. I'll be back. <laughs> you know where Talia is? Did you see her? Oh, there she is. I found her. There has to be some way for us to get more medical supplies. I told you already. We have nothing to spare. We're willing to pay. It's not about payment. Between the war on Palavan and the coup attempt here, supplies are short. If my people don't get more antibiotics and Metagel, thousands of us will die. Then maybe you picked a bad time to start a war with the Geth. There has to be some way for us to get more medical supplies. I told you already, we have nothing to spare. We're willing to pay. It's not about payment. Between the war on Palavan and the coup attempt here, supplies are short. If my people don't get more antibiotics... Tally saved the Citadel a couple of years ago. Watch your tone. You're right. We're all on edge right now, but we don't have enough Metagel for our own needs. We can't help your people right now. I'm sorry. Damn it. I'm sorry, Tali. Thank you for I've trying tried. to help. I'm sorry, too. I know. It's all hard and difficult. Uh. But yeah, it was a bad time to pick it more of a gap than just saying. Especially when there was an opportunity for peace. Miranda? Is this your apartment? I got your message, Miranda. Hello. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. Yeah. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. Just be careful, okay? That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? Let me help you. No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. Mm. I think you mentioned this. Mm -hmm. I did. There's more to it. Don't tell me you did it. The elusive man stopped me. Which is surprising, honestly. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Yeah. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me. Right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Hmm. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. 
but you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Mm. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. <laughs> no, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. And if you need help, just, just ask. I'm, I'm willing to help, trust me. <laughs> Let me help you. Oh, it's kicked out. We're leaving. Mm-hmm. I believe those are my credits. Constant. Going. Knowles, this is where the last act <laughs> has been waiting a long time. <laughs> oh, Shepard Balak, you should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. Oh, I've been waiting me. for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes, after you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes, looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. That's the Reapers, not me. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race, a beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people. Come on. Our ships are yours. Ooh. Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all <laughs> making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Spectre Authority. Yeah, I'll take nice. it. Nice. Batarian fling. You know, I'll take it. Might have costed some scientists, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take that. Damn it, James. By Krogan support on Palavin. Hey there. Hey. Looking mighty low today. Krogan leader you okay? Anyone been bothering you? No, it's not that. I'm fine. Ah, uh, mm. I see. Uh, so, Reaper forces any continue their No, on they just. The their shuttle must be real slow. That's all. Aww. Do you think they're okay? They promised they'd come get me, no matter what they had to do. It's been so long. I don't know, kid. I'm sure they'd be happy, knowing you're safe. That's a, that's a good response. I miss them. I miss them so much. I love how much he cares and how much he's like trying to keep her- Oh, it's so cute, but I feel so bad for him. <laughs> I feel like he knows too, you know? Anyone else here? No, it's James. Okay, cool. We did that. 
At least we've gotten some stuff Spectre done today. Recognized. The last Please place we gotta go is screen. the Purgatory Bar, I think. Is there anywhere else I missed? I don't think so. Now arriving at ward level, Purgatory. Wait, wait. You asked if I got heavy armor. I never said it was heavy armor. Uh... And since when do you know anything about shield capacitors? I read about them. Did you say you sold your car a few weeks ago? Because that's around the time I got sent this new armor. Hey, hey, it's late, and I'm not letting my friend miss a night of purgatory. Aww. <laughs> you want to go in, or do you want to talk about my car some more? No. <laughs> You're right. Let's go in, and I'm buying you some goddamn drinks. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Debris field. Close to the star, the Normandy scanners can detect a nigh uncountable number of Geth satellites or satite satellites that use solar sails to self correct their position. The Geth placed ultra lightweight construction around the sun to collect energy arranged in a vast array known as a Dyson bubble. Scattered among them are space stations that servers and servers that draw power from the satites through wireless energy transfer. Most of the space stations are wreckage now, and no small number of solar sails have also been destroyed. It appears the Quarians began to destroy them, but were stopped before the attack was complete. Is this also the same? Oh no, it's my microphone. Okay. You guys are just chilling over there, huh? I see. What else you got? Nothing on you? Okay. I'm gonna make it mine after this. <laughs> Okay, so we have a couple places to go. Um, so this is Rannoch. This is their home world. Although this orange sun is only about 90% of the mass of Sol and half of as luminous, Rannoch is an arid by Earth standards because it's formed closer to its star and has slightly less ocean coverage. Photosynthetic life is concentrated around rivers and oceans with large expanses of desert in between. The importance of plant life and shade in the ancient Quarian culture is evident of the translation of Rannoch's name, Walled Garden. To starship sensors, most of the obvious features of Quarian homeworlds is the numerous heat sources in orbit. Thousands of Geth space stations watch over the planet. Somewhere in this artificial swarm of constructions lurks the Geth Armada waiting for this moment to counterattack. I've always hated fighting the Geth. <laughs> they always get me. <laughs> um, let me see which one I need to go to exactly before we do this. That one. Yes. <laughs> I feel like I should bring Tali on this one. <laughs> Let's see. Who should I bring? Could be Javik. Could bring Edie. Could bring Liara. I want to bring the two of them. It might not be the best idea, but let's go. Oh, oh that was weird. <laughs> Come on, Shepard. This is Admiral Zan. Have you reached Selkoris' escape pod? Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Selkoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Jeez. Searching for their lost admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. Hmm. What makes finding the admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. Yeah, I don't blame them. They've lost a leader in a war they didn't want. Yep. Yep. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalkoris understood the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some static. It appears Elkhorus crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact him. Make sure to proceed with caution. Zen? 
That is definitely Admiral some Zen. static. <laughs> we know what to do. Hopefully Admiral Chorus remained with the escape pod. Yeah. We'll see you in a minute. Take us in to the tower. Installed anti aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. Oh, great. Okay. Lovely. I'm ready. Hopefully. Just take it slow. My people have been in exile for centuries. To be standing here in the land of my ancestors. Like, yeah, I definitely understand their want to have their home world back. But at what cost, you know? It's so dark. Let's get We're getting through. closer to that jamming tower. I hope the Admiral is alright. There are so many Geth here already. I know. Clean up, crews. The Geth never learned to take survivors. Good God. I mean, what would they do with them? <laughs> And surprise! What? Get the pyro! I can't escape the pyros, man. Who's dodge that? I'm terrified of you. <laughs> so far. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're gonna find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. Ah! Shepard! I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. <laughs> I got distracted by this. The javelin. Oh, I just don't want the equipment load right now. But I do want to try it. Whoops. On it. Sorry, no. <laughs> Have, um, I want to try this out. Oh, interesting. Gas patrolling down there. That's really interesting. How many? Two? For now. Oh god, that's a lot more than two. They die in one hit. That's terrifying. In. Oh, it didn't let me charge and it was reloaded. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's always what gets me killed, is me going in thinking I'll yeah, be able to charge, and then I can't, and then I'm stuck in the middle of everyone with nowhere to hide. Let's get some... Let's get... This up. Um, let's do... Some that. Let's, um... Another one. Oh, I just put the back over there. I mean, I guess it's fine. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be like two. <laughs> if you guys don't get it fast enough, you're screwed.
really dead, actually. Oh, you know what I... Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be careful with these slimy geth. <laughs> Really interesting gun. Got it. As you wish. I will. Right. Now oh, done. <laughs> okay, I think that's all of them for now. This is like interesting. It's a really wide shot, but it does a lot of damage. It doesn't reach that far, but it reaches pretty far for how wide of a shot it is. I don't like this tor tight corridor, especially with how many rocket launchers they have. <laughs> Big head was blocking it. <laughs> Understood. There, the anti aircraft gun. Wow. Oh, I didn't realize you were here. I can't. There we go. I thought that it was over, <laughs> but it was not. when I looked up. Ooh, nice. Shot it through it. Where's this other one? <laughs> Let's look at the gun's console. We should be able to disable it. That. Um, hold on. I just gotta look around a little bit. Oh, no! One of us needs to take okay. those AA guns offline. A little worried. <laughs> um, who do I want? I feel like... I'll do Tali. Tally, you take the guns. <laughs> the arrows were staring at me like, hi. <laughs> Get dropping from orbit. Such dodging butts, I swear you see that. Burn! Are you not dead? You're dead. Oh no, not not a Geth Prime. Anything but a Geth Prime.
okay with all of this. <laughs> it's so tanky. Shut down the two by the tower. Sounds like a plan. Don't let that one disappear. Oh, what the? <laughs> nice. So yeah, we go this way for sure. Where else is it? What else are we shooting? Oh, there's one all the way over here. Stop it. Okay. Let's head back up here. <laughs> I got scared when I went up here. <laughs> I was just looking for stuff and then it put me into that cutscene. I thought I messed up. Are you ready? Down we- No! Ah! I'm okay. Yoink you. Oh. It may be time for some new mods. You... You heard my message. Send out a distress call. Radios you? are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hats. I... Uh, I clean engine parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I thought I could bite the other civilians' time. Fight some geth. There were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Don't move. We've got Medigel. Oh, I've lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower. And you can radio him. We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please. Listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Gorus can get us out alive. And my son. Tell him. Tell Jonah that his father made it to the home world. We will. Rest well, Dornhast Vasrenak. Let's get to that tower. Hiding behind that. Why are you guys not getting pushed up by that, huh? I need to know. Man, they're really. 
really just not getting <laughs> taken. You guys like stuck on something? Why is it not hitting me? <laughs> Ow! That hit me. He's manning this. Get off of it! <laughs> you would not get off of it. Let's look at the gun's control panel for a way to shut it off. Okay. That was funny. <laughs> committed. That geth was committed. <laughs> Who should disable the gun, Shepard? I he want you on this, Tally. Right. One day, Shepard will Shepherd, learn. Can use that Geth turret. Oh, I'm going. That's a good idea. More incoming Geth. I hope, and of course, it's a flamethrower. Of course. Holy shit. <laughs> I am just to die. Data on the jamming towers Ooh. could be useful. Nice. I'll take that. Ty's like, can we turn this off? <laughs> Who should disable the gun, Shepard? You got I want it, Tom. You on this, Tally. Right. Takes a lot to do that. Where? Where is it? 
It's just hiding. <laughs> Where are you? How'd you get behind me? Where were you hiding? <laughs> Not where the arm was shooting. <laughs> I'll signal the shuttle. Didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't. Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My surviving crew found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. Stay together. We'll meet you there. No, the Geth have cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. No. So will you. My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them! Hmm. Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. To keep them safe. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think Zen you can stop dying. this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Come on, quick, quick. <laughs> Ancestors, forgive me. Aww. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. And this is why we need him. <laughs> What is this <laughs> camera shake? Death behind you. Get in cover. It's clear. Go. Come on, come on. Admiral, come on. Welcome aboard. Shepard, my crew. Perhaps there's still time. Hello? This is Zell Chorus. Does anyone copy? Hello? We've got to go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. <laughs> has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Commander, we've located the Reaper base transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to creator forces. Hmm. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, take
10 nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth beautiful. Indicative of life. It is. Commander! Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. You guys started this. You created them. Maybe they don't have to die. Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. <laughs> Commander, <laughs> are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified. And they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes, it should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Geth fighter squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. No. I don't want to strike I gave now. in to your reckless behavior mm. before. The patrol fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So pull them back. If I withdraw now, the guests will flank us, and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. I gave in to your reckless behavior before. Gone. The patrol fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So pull them back. If I withdraw now, the guests will flank us, and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. I gave in to your Like, this is tricky, I don't know. God. The patrol fleet um. isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest with them. Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Fine. I'll pull yeah. back the heavy fleet. And when we're taking fire from both sides, those deaths are on your heads. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. Nice. And we got the Aquarian Heavy Fleet too now. Sorry, I had to pause because I needed wine. <laughs> Damn. Legion, how you Shepherd doing? Commander. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only <laughs> vulnerable through direct message. interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Anything else to say, Tali? I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Not yet. Talk to you later, Tally. <laughs> I'm stuck. Anything else to say? Thank you for your rescue efforts, Commander. I'm glad I could help. Whatever our disagreements, Admiral Chorus is an excellent commander. He just might save the civilian fleet. 
Prometheus what do you need? fleet. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. You've got new messages, Commander. Oh, I do. See. My cousin Dorn. Aww. Navtiovas Griagut. Commander Shepard, the civilian fleet is grateful you have returned our admiral to us. I mourn those who fell on the homeworld. But Zalcor has stopped many vessels from flying past the waiting guns of the Gath. The admiral told me, You met my cousin Don Dorn Hotz on Rannoch. It means so much to me that Dorn. It means much to me that Dorn was not alone when he passed. Thank you, Commander, for all that you have done. Aww. I'm sorry. Man, watching the Geth fleet move, it's like thousands of stunt flyers in formation. <laughs> Creepy stunt flyers. That's what I'm Those saying. ships look like some sort of <laughs> cockroach so wasp thing. <laughs> nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? You don't agree with the Quarians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Corus exactly. will keep them safe from the Geth. And themselves. Mm hmm Commander. What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proce Uh oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. <laughs> I almost had you. <laughs> I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. <laughs> That's relaxing. Good news. I've tracked down some of the people I was looking for. Oh, did you? The recruits you taught? Hmm. Found J-Squad, Black Ops. They're holed up making a stand in the Midwest, in Chicago, I think he said. Connected them with Anderson so they can help the resistance. It's a relief. Hope more turn up. How's everything lining up? How's everything lining up? Oh, it's hopefully gonna go good. Dad. Dad, uh, are you there? Come in. Ooh. Where are you now? Hurt. How bad? Dad, you have to get out of there. I'm glad we could help those quarians. Oh, though sorry, yes. I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? Is that your family? Not right now. Not right now. Tell me. Oh. Well, at least he wasn't sure if they were even alive before. At least now he knows that they are. But hopefully, they're still okay. Power grid is in the green. Uh, Javik? Where are you? <laughs> Javik? Where are you? Are you down here? Gotta say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rannoch. 
You did a good yeah, job. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower, and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. <laughs> Cross-checking our parts inventory. Where's Javik? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? It's just you. Do you hear that hum? <laughs> Is that just me? He's in the AI core. What are you doing in the AI core? <laughs> I'm gonna go see. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution And the intended. Reapers dominated and you. synthetic life has obtained true consciousness, as was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited. Let us simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. You are being a pain in the butt. As wish, back. Commander. I want you to know that. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this how he walks around? I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. <laughs> the one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. I would prefer to be alone. I'll leave you in here. <laughs> Why is he standing like that? <laughs> no, you can't. It looks too funny. Well, I'm calling that one there. We had a pretty interesting time on Rannoch. I'm excited to continue through with it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Huge thanks to all my lovely patrons.